so in this video i will assemble the z-axis motor so this is the z-axis motor uh, on top of it i will place this z-axis holder so that we can place it on chassis so there will be two z-axis motors the, this one will be the left side one so another one will be there that is for the right side one so you can see this is the right side uh, motor holder so i will add screws to this uh, motor holder so using allen key so i will place it on top of the motor then using allen key i will add the screws So now both motors are ready. This one is the right side motor. So this one is the left side motor. So this will go right side, this will go left side. So on chassis, I will place these mo motors. So uh, this one will go left side and this one will go right side. So. I will place this left side motor So I am placing this motor using T nut and M6 screws. So you can see T nut here. So using Allen key, I will place this motor on chassis. So same way right side motor also I will place it on chases. So now uh, both side motors are installed on the frame. So uh, now uh, we need to place couplers on these motors so that you can place the threaded rod one side. So 
in coupler one side will go to the motor shaft another side will go to the threaded rod so that we can place the x axis so this is the coupler so one side it will go to the motor shaft another side will go to um, threaded rod 8 mm threaded rod okay so uh, this coupler will go uh, like this so yeah this will go like this so just we need to tighten the uh, screws so that it will stay on top of it you can place the threaded rod so i am placing the coupler on this motor So now I added a coupler for both side motors, left and right. So, so now I can place the threaded rod and smooth rod. So we can install the X axis on it. So before that we need to put a Z axis smooth rod holder on top. Now we have to place the z-axis smooth rod holder in both sides so that we can install the smooth rod. So, so we can install the x-axis. So this will go left side. Another one will go right side. So first we have to install this so that we can place the x-axis on it. So you can place the smooth rod and check whether it is aligning properly or not both sides. After that you can remove and while placing the X axis again you can insert. Yeah, it's aligned properly same way we'll do it uh, left side. So both sides smooth rod inserted and it's aligned properly. So now we have to place the threaded rod and smooth rod so we can install the X axis. So now I will place the X axis on this. So you can see here, this is the X axis I corrected as I said earlier that should be facing downwards. Now it is facing properly. And here you can see a special nut to you know, use the threaded rod. So I installed and you can see the bearings as I showed you earlier. Same way here also, uh, it's a special nut for the threaded rod and also the bearing. So to place this one first I need to remove the smooth rods then I will place the threaded rod after that I will install the smooth rods.
so now I'll install the threaded rods Once you place the threaded rod in coupler, so you can tighten using these screws. So now uh, X and Z axis are ready and it is placed on frame. In the next video we will see Y axis.